Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Best Foot Forward. The author is Rustam Dada Chanji. The illustrator is Tanvi Bhatt and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Best Foot Forward. So who is this in the picture? This is a type of insect called a centipede. A centipede has a lot of legs. You might have seen it. And look at this centipede. He's wearing different shoes on every foot. And what, what is his best foot, do you think? Let's see. Perfect day for a walk, thinks Mr. Centipede. What better way to keep my 42 feet strong and fit? At the end of each foot, Mr. Centipede wears a bold, bright, beautiful boot. That is 21 pairs of boots for all 42 feet. So the centipede has 42 feet. That means he has 21 pairs of feet. 21 times 2 is 42. And if he has a pair of boots for each pair of feet, that is 21 different pairs of boots. And look, look at all these boots that are of different bright colors. Don't you like it? It's lovely, isn't it? Whom does he first meet but Dame Damsel Fly? What big boots you have on? She says, tell me, Mr. Centipede, which leg do you place before which when you go walking? Why, this leg, of course, says Mr. Centipede, lifting leg number two. Wait, actually, this leg, he lifts leg number four. So what's going on here? This is Dame Damsel Fly. It is a type of insect and she asks Mr. Centipede, which leg do you place first when you go walking? And the centipede seems confused. First, he thinks it is leg number two. Then he thinks it is leg number four. What's going on here? Such fine boots, says the big beetle. Tell me, Mr. Centipede, which leg do you place before which when you go walking? So who's this? This is the big beetle. And he has the same question. And centipede thinks about it. Which leg does he place before which? Because think about it. He has 21 pairs of feet. It would be hard to remember, right? It would be very confusing. What a silly question, says Mr. Centipede, annoyed. He sticks out leg number three and puts it down quickly. He sticks out leg number six instead. So again, the centipede is confused. First, he thinks it is leg number two when the, da when the damselfly asks him. And then he thinks it's four. Now he thinks it's number three. And then he thinks it's number six. So which one is it?
what is happening here asks elder and poor mr centipede is very confused whispers dame damsel fly in all this time even though he has so many boots he has been unable to take a single step so here the damsel fly and the elder ant are talking about mr centipede and how confused he is when everybody asks him the question of which leg he lifts first he is confused about which leg he uses and so he is not able to walk forward anymore is that so says elder ant with a sigh tell me mr centipede which leg do you place before which when you go for a walk so again the elder ant asks the same question i start simply with this one says mr centipede lifting leg number 4 oh no i mean that one he lifts leg number 8 oh no none of them i mean one of them oh no i have forgotten what i mean so now the centipede is completely confused and he is just unable to go anywhere run run quickly they hear a voice who is that cries big beetle i am stick insect you with all those boots had better run so what does stick insect tell centipede he tells centipede that he better run why i have spotted a black bird whispers stick insect she seems quite hungry and ready for breakfast she cannot see me because i look like the tree bark i am resting on but she sure can see you dressed up in those big bright colorful boots run run quickly <laughs> the stick insect laughs what is so funny asks lady spider who just swung by for a visit so here you can see the beetle and the elder ant but against the tree bark can you see the stick insect no right it is so well hidden but here is the centipede with all those legs each of them wearing this big bright colorful boot and so the black birds who are hungry and coming near for breakfast might see the centipede and grab it to eat right so the stick insect tells the centipede to hide quickly and then the stick insect starts laughing there was no black bird says stick insect it was just a trick to have some fun and make all those boots run you will agree now that it is done mr centipede sure can run so 
what happened really the stick insect was just having fun at the centipede there was no blackbird coming near by the blackbirds are all very far away they can't see any of the insects here and stick insect was just having fun trying to make mr centipede run so why did the centipede get so confused let's read some more about that isn't it funny that mr centipede was finding it difficult to take a single step but had no trouble running this could happen to any of us there are things we do every day without realizing like blinking or moving our hands while talking but if we pay careful attention to how often we blink or in what way our hands move we may get confused this is called the centipede's dilemma or humphrey's law so what happened to mr centipede when you start paying attention to what you do when you are doing it normally as part of your day for example blinking or moving your hands when you are talking you don't think about it even just walking do you remember if you think about it which foot you move first maybe not if you start thinking about it you may get confused but without thinking if for some reason you start doing it then it will come automatically and this kind of confusion is called the centipede's dilemma or humphrey's law i hope you enjoyed this story thank you the difficult words in this story are centipede a type of insect with a long body and many legs damsel fly a type of insect stick insect a type of insect that looks like a stick and is able to hide easily dilemma a situation when you find it difficult to choose between different options try these questions write in your own words what is the centipede's dilemma while walking do you know which foot you put forward first write down two or three more things like this that you do without thinking about it but which might be confusing to think about